I'm joined today in the studio by Michael Outhouse from MA Lighting. Michael, welcome to CXTV. Thank you for joining us. Now, this is not a grand MA2 con uh, console. This is the on-PC wing. Tell us a bit about the, the wing. What, what's How's it work in relation to computer? Okay. Uh, first of all, the idea was to extend our um, Grand MA2 range of products, the system, to write additional solutions for it. Mm -hmm. um, there was a demand in the market for quite a while already um, that we come up with a solution that gives you actual control of the functionality, especially when using our on-PC software. Um, yeah, and this is what we launched or promoted um, since mid of December, and we just started to ship the units to the market. Okay, fa fantastic. Um, now, the on-PC software you can download for free, yes? Yes, on our okay. website, yes. Okay, so if you if you were wanting to, to figure out how the system worked and start to understand a bit of it, you could actually pull the software down and start using it without actually even having a wing. Exactly, yes. Um, we expect new software releases coming up very soon. Um, with this wing, we were talking about software version, I think, 2.543. And um, just before Frankfurt, for, um, before the ProLight and Sound Show, we are expecting 2.55 software coming up uh, that allows uh, the fader wing to run with the software. Um, uh, but, but first of all, it's, it's not a big change. We just make this product working with the software. And when having a wing, you have access to the full functionality of Grand MA2 software. Okay, now th there are some DMX ports on the back, so obviously you can get DMX in and out of the wing itself. But the idea is this is not really a console, is this is really more just, just a control surface for the on-PC software? That's right. Okay, yes. so, so you're, still, uh, you're still running basically from the PC, but this is going to give you easier access to the functionality within the software. Yes. Very often um, we see that people like to run smaller shows. Right mm -hmm. now we offer the opportunity in adding a two-port node, for example, as a dongle to output DMX, uh, but they're lacking encoders, faders, they want to have physical buttons, and this is something um, this product is meant to, to provide. It's going to address, definitely. Now, with the on-PC software, you can run up to 4,000 parameters, correct? Yes, exactly. That's uh, the maximum we allow uh, to be run with the on-PC software. Mm -hmm. The console, for sure, a system can handle much more. But um, first of all, 4,000 is the limit. And per default, this wing is providing 2,000 parameters. OK. Now, just for, for everyone at home, we should cover the difference between a parameter versus a DMX channel, because they don't necessarily equal the same number. Exactly. Um, it shouldn't bother too much, mainly, but uh, to give a very um, simple example, uh, a parameter can be understood as a specific function. Yep. Let's say it's pan and tilt. It could be uh, coarse or fine. And um, if it's 8-bit or 16-bit, you need um, sometimes two channels. Yep. The rest for us, it's just one parameter. OK, so, so pan, channel, pan coarse and pan fine yep. is just still seen as one parameter. So you could actually wind up with more DMX being output than the number of parameters, for That's instance. That's right, yes. OK, excellent. Um, things like pixel mapping and, uh, and all that sort of good stuff we can do, all that kind of thing, uh, using on PC with the wing? Everything Renome 2 software provides, for sure, can be accessed via the wing, definitely, yeah. OK, cool. And look, the control surface is, uh, you're saying it should be fairly easy transition for existing MA users recognizing the, the various buttons and so on. We've got the please button. Yeah. Look, it was very uh, important for us to have a very, very similar layout. Uh, so the button layout fits Grand MA2. It's not 100% the same, but it's very close. So people feel um, comfortable immediately when, when operating the console. We use the um, same elements here, which is very important. So um, everybody who, who knows Grand MA knows um, that we have robust, reliable products. And the idea was to design a decent product uh, with a certain size. It is designed as a console, so not everything in the smallest footprint with the cheapest component possible. Now, these are original Grand MA components. Mm, okay, so it's going to stand up reasonably well in sort of touring situation, Definitely. as long as you put it in a case. Uh, yes, please. Or <laughs> <laughs> we have something like a computer bag that it was uh, designed for it. So size-wise, it's uh, nearly hand luggage. Um, it is. It is nearly hand luggage, isn't it? Yeah. And, and weight-wise, I reckon you're, you're pretty close. It's uh, six kilograms only. It's seven centimeters. It's it's quite slim. Mm. Uh, so we were hand carrying it um, everywhere, uh, no problem at all. Uh, yeah, people like to do so. Okay. So look, 
This is this is, I guess, not really seen as a, a replacement to a grand MA2 console, but maybe you could use this in smaller situations. Um, if you're in a studio, smaller environment, or if you didn't have a lot of space to make a big footprint for lighting control. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, and you could even run one of these as a backup to a larger system. Um, this is actually um, one of the ideas of the system. Um, backups are important. We um, are cannot important. highlight this often enough. With Granimate 2, it's, it's very easy to have a backup because mm -hmm. you just connect a computer running on PC um, to your system. And in case something fails, you miss the easy access to the system. So now you have it because you connect this as a keyboard to your on-PC system um, and then you have direct access to it. You can have easy um, multi-user sessions now um, adding this to a non-PC or as in a studio environment, for example, you can bring this close to the set. You can have this on stage uh, where you don't have the space or the money to, to put a physical console. Mm. And I suppose also uh, if you have if, if you have, obviously there's, there's a budget difference as well. Uh, if you want an MA system in your venue or on your show, but you can't necessarily afford a full exactly. scale console, this, yeah. is, this is going to give you a few more options that previously were just, you'd just be controlling off a mouse or a trackball on the computer. Look, there are m many people um, who really like to use Grand MA because it um, provides all the functionality. It's an established uh, system in the market, but um, yeah, unfortunately it's, it's also having its price. And um, one target group uh, for us is definitely um, the, the new user with a smaller budget. And um, I think this is fairly priced, mm. very competitive. Yeah, I think so. Um, I guess also for, for users who've been on other platforms, it's just as a general thing with, with Grand MA, um, the migrations actually made quite simple because you have a lot of different ways you can actually set the console up in terms of control, yeah? Yes. Okay. This is, I think, um, the strongest but also the, the weakest part of Grand MA because the setup is essential. Mm. Uh, but we are very um, happy to give you start shows to provide training, um, especially show technology is very active here in Australia, uh, to provide good support to make everybody understand the system. And definitely one day, two days, that's well spent time. Mm. And, and you can start with something that, that feels a bit more like a platform you're used to and then yes. as, you, as you become more confident you can learn all the shortcuts. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Well look, thank you for joining us today Michael. Yeah. Appreciate your Thanks time. Thanks again. And thank you for bringing in the new One PC Wing. Absolutely. Cheers. Thanks.